back everyone, Shika Hokan here reporting for the festival. So, I did promise I want to change something that I've done wrong last year, which basically featuring more Lamborghini than the Ferrari. Well, today we have one more Ferrari featured in my channel. And this is the Ferrari 458 Speciale. It's basically an upgraded variant of the Ferrari 458 and well it looks way more aggressive than the original 458 I actually have both of these and both of them are bought from the auction house so yeah I believe this Ferrari is actually on the auto show if I remember correctly let me have a quick look here Yep, it's on the auto show, 45 especially, and of course the 458 Italia. In fact, this steering wheel is actually 458. Yes, I own a Ferrari. Just the steering wheel. <laughs> Annoyingly. That joke just went off because you cannot see me. I'm an idiot, I know. Okay, right. So... I'm using the factory paint so nothing to show there. I really respect Ferrari in red, even though Ferrari themselves kinda paint some of their car in other color. I will choose red anyway, because it's Ferrari. <laughs> I mean I really love their red alright, it's just so good. So you know what, let's just start with the upgrades for this car. So Engine swap. I obviously swap it with the 5.2 liter V10 because it won't reach S2 class. Yes, I'm still searching for S2 class car, but I'm pretty sure if I try to use the stock power train and give it all wheel drive, that will be works rather well. Maybe I'll try that in the future. And yeah, I use the twin turbo. Currently, it will have the rear wheel drive because. I want to see if it works better than the Conic Sack. I mean, well, at least from the Agar RS, because I know it won't beat the Agera, the modified Agera, that's for sure. I mean, the top speed isn't that far anyway. And we have the Forza body kit here. I really don't want to do this to the original 45 Egg Italia, but since this is the more aggressive one, yeah, why not, right? I hope and of course we have the wing I mean sure we can have no downforce but I rather have more downforce on the rear so tire obviously rice tire front has 275 rear has 345 and track width first stage track width on the front and second basically second stage I guess I mean, well, it's not second stage, it's still called first stage track with on the rear. I mean, it, it's already on the st first stage if you want to be the stock one, so it doesn't really make much difference. Maxed out the drivetrain, it already comes with the race brakes, so that's a good thing because, you know, also race suspension, roll, anti roll bar is maxed out. No roll cage and fully weight reduced. So, yeah. Next, we have our engine here stock intake, race fuel system, race ignition, race exhaust, race valves, race engine block, race twin turbo no intercooler and race flywheel and that makes 1144 horsepower with 784 feet of torque and it weighs 2591 pounds and since it's a mid-engine the weight distribution is 44 percent right let's go into the race then Alright, our first race will be on Hollywood Park Circuit on summer because it's already summer, I believe. So, right then. 
Let's see. Uh, I already turned the car, so let's just go then. Let's see how it, how well it is. Already has more handling than the Chronic Sack, <laughs> but. Okay, we're fighting another 458. Everyone dying. Someone just went under steering outside. Well, yeah, just slide outside. And interestingly enough, about this car is actually it's under steering. I don't understand why, but it's under steer. Maybe I need some more camber. I don't know. I'll try that later. But for now, this car is so nice to drive, actually. Until you have a jump like that. Oh, that guy just stopped on the checkpoint. Wow. As you can see there, it's actually under steering. It's weird because it's a rear wheel drive mid engine and yet somehow it's under steer. It's so weird. But that just make this car actually more tolerable to drive than the conic sack. It's weird, I know. But it's not that weird because then again, this is actually originally an S1 class, so it doesn't have too much power. And yet, if I make a mistake like that, it's still kind of be able to be safe rather easily. Not too easy, but still. It's good enough, I guess. Okay. I'm quite hesitant with this blind corner here. It's feeling bad. Okay, we actually have back marker. Wait, no, that's not a back marker. There is no way there is a back marker on this AI race. As far as I know. Now I'm just using all of my control. So I just realized the first position is actually run away pretty far. Somehow. Wow. I mean, I know it's un unbeatable, but I didn't know it's that strong and as to racing. Okay. I'm just taking my time here. I mean, in turn, he went slower, but still. That is really far. That's um, two to three seconds apart. Ow. That was my bad. I mean, I made a lot more error when no one's around than there are some other AI. That's weird. Yeah, this car actually under steering. And then it's over steer when I said that. Okay. You're a weird one. <laughs> and well, I didn't pay attention to the road there. I hit the wall. But not too bad. I actually have some faster lap time than the Huracan there. That's just stupid. Alright, we are back to Grindel Super Sprint again. Because. I need some screen trace, and this is the nearest one. And well, I don't adjust anything as of now, but I may want to make this anti roll bar here a bit softer on the front because it's so under steery. It's with my base tone. Yeah, this is actually my base to play on. doing pretty well. Just yes, need to be slow on the turn them. Like so. Uh, be gentle with the throttle. And look pretty gentle. And traffic! God damn it! This place is too tight. Yeah, I'm just pretty annoying here. Like that, for example. It's suddenly going to be annoying. 
to fight with. Oh, that guy is just under spear there. Alright, let's try not to make the same mistake as the Conic side. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Not too nice because I hit the barrier. And yes, this has 7 gear. Uh, since this. Okay, I'm quite hesitant here. Okay, we're just moving through that guy. I mean, once it's that going, it just go. Yeah, I'm not very gentle with the throttle today. Yeah, it's understood if I... Yeah, I think I lock up the brakes, actually. But it's also under if you want to fast. So that needs to work on. But it's pretty decent, but I may have to use this. Oh, well, I'll turn this into an all-wheel drive car if I want to make it competitive. Maybe I will make two variants, one with the rear-wheel drive and the other with the all-wheel drive and, you know, try it if you want to. But for now, it's just a rear-wheel drive Ferrari, which is a good one, to be honest. It's nice to drive, but I need to eliminate that understeer because it's really annoying. So, yeah, there you go, the Ferrari 458 Special. It's really nice to drive, really, and it looks quite nice, but I prefer the 458 Italia, it looks better to be honest, it's less, it less aggressive like this one, uh, you know, well, it's just a matter of personal preference. And, well, unlike other Ferrari, I think it's, yeah, I need to keep my throttle actually. And like other Ferrari, this one doesn't seem to have any problem with what. But it's certainly not the best. I mean, yeah, it's not as good as the FXX and FXXK. But it is another option if you want to. So, yeah, go ahead and try it. <laughs> 